Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 2. They've officially released the synopsis for the episode, so this is obviously part of their promotional photos that are definitely going to come very soon, and they've been promoting Episode 1, now they're moving on to Episode 2. And so be on the lookout for a new promo very soon, so like a short trailer. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you are new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year okay so yeah interesting stuff they released the synopsis for episode 2 titled the speed of thought so this is for season 7 this episode airs on March 9th so currently right now we are very very close to the premiere it's the 20th February and in just three days time Superman Lois is going to premiere its first episode so its series premiere so super excited about that please be on the lookout for that and also some other Superman and Lois videos as we head towards that episode air day on Tuesday. But then shortly after, the week after, we're going to get episode 1 of The Flash season 7. I am so excited that our shows are back. We're going to be covering both Superman and Lois and The Flash. Can't wait to talk about it. So yeah, this episode is titled The Speed of Thought and this is how the synopsis goes. Barry gains a new skill. When Barry Allen suddenly gains the power of speed thinking, he attempts to use his gift to save Iris. While Barry is thrilled with his new power, Cisco is hesitant to trust him. Meanwhile, Eva must face a shattering truth. So this is a very interesting synopsis because it reveals a lot. So obviously the big part here is Barry gains a new skill and we're going to get into what that skill is because they've confirmed it's the power of speed thinking. Which is a thing in the comics and in especially in New 52, Barry is able to actually use this power and so he's able to outthink the best computers in the world. He can do everything at such a fast pace. Obviously in the show, we've seen him going around like doing all of this stuff so fast. But for him, it's because time is slowing down. But if he has the power of speed thinking, that means that he's going to be able to think at a faster rate, even though things are slowing down around side of him. So... Barry's brain is able to work faster than most normal people and so yeah he will be able to think faster than humans like he does in the new 52 and in the comics he's able to think about every possible outcome of a specific event in order to avoid or stop whatever he wants to do. So yeah it is a thing in the comics and he's going to be finding out in episode 2 that he's going to be gaining a new skill. Now I think the main question here is how does he gain this new skill? Is it what we've seen in the trailer with him running around in the speed lab and him getting his blue lightning? Well, it seems likely that that is in episode 1 because he's wearing the same sweater and this was pointed out by a YouTuber named Flashverse. You guys can go check him out in the link in the description below. So it seems like that blue lightning stuff is at the end of episode 1 and they're definitely doing some experiments as the synopsis for episode 1 teases. And so maybe that is a kind of repercussion of the dangerous experiments and Nash's dangerous plan in episode one, which moves on to episode two and Barry gains this new skill. So the synopsis goes on to say when Barry suddenly gains the power of speed thinking, he attempts to use his gift to save Iris. So now this means that Iris doesn't escape from the Mirrorverse in episode one. She's in fact still there. And the photos we saw from episode one where she's looking at the computer, that just means that Iris is basically in control of herself inside the Mirrorverse. She's used to it. So the screen isn't like flipping backwards for her. She's actually just there, I guess, researching. And so, yeah, she's gonna be stuck in the Mirrorverse in episode two. And it seems like from the trailer, the way that he's gonna get Iris out maybe isn't through this kind of portal that he suggested but maybe it's through his new gift speed thinking and i'm guessing using this new gift he's going to be able to think how can i get into the mirrorverse without being rejected you know because i think it's pretty much nearly impossible for a normal person to go in so he's gonna have to find a way in but with his power of speed thinking he's going to be able to actually get a way around that and so obviously iris is going to be in the mirrorverse she's probably going to be trying to break out herself I reckon she's going to be with the normal versions of Singh and Camilla. And so it goes on to say, while Barry is thrilled with his new power, Cisco is hesitant to trust it. Now, I don't know the reason why Cisco would be hesitant to trust it, 
but maybe it has something to do with reverse flash because we saw on the promo photos for episode one that Barry's wearing Thorne's glasses. So is it something to do with Thorne? Is that why Cisco doesn't trust whatever Barry's new power is? And was Nash's plan in episode one that risky that they involve Thorne and that is why Cisco doesn't trust it? I would say that's probably the most likely option because they are involving Thorne somehow in him getting his powers back. And even if they just use Thorn to try and create this new artificial speed force, it seems Cisco won't trust anything to do with him. And so it says Barry is thrilled with his new power, so he's obviously very excited, and he's going to be using it to try and get into the Mirrorverse. And obviously he's going to try every way that he can, and he's going to have the help of Team Flash, apart from Cisco, who is, as we said, hesitant to use it. And so, meanwhile, it says Eva must face a shattering truth and so maybe this has something to do with her twist that we're gonna see in the episode that comes next so the kind of finale or what would have been the finale last season which is episode three of season seven so Eva's final episode and so this shattering truth may be to do with what she's become and that what she's doing is completely wrong because we know that she's gonna come around and we'll just have to wait and see as to how she does that and what this shattering truth is so yeah the speed of thought the title it suggests obviously barry's gonna get the speed of thought he's gonna get his new powers he's gonna be able to think super fast and that is his way into trying to save iris and maybe he gets his speed back i don't know if this means that the artificial speed force has been created because i don't think barry with one percent of speed is going to be creating new powers for himself because he's barely connected to any speed force so i would say this suggests that he probably has access to the speed force or it's something like velocity 9 and he's juiced up on that last episode and somehow he's got a better connection to the speed force or obviously the main option is they've created this artificial speed force with the help of thorn whether he's there or not in person it seems like they might have successfully cracked it with the help of Nash and Chester. Or the other option, like we mentioned in past videos, is that he's found out a way how to revive the old Speed Force. So obviously that is a bit far-fetched, but we've explained it in past videos that is definitely an option. But Barry's new skill doesn't seem to just come out of nowhere. So yeah, we'll get into that once we know a bit more. But for now, let's head over to some set photos. And these photos come from Canada Grass. We're going to be fully breaking down and doing like a proper video on these very soon. But I wanted to just include it and tell you guys about these photos because they're really good. And they prove some insight for the episodes that are coming up. So we're not going to go into the villain that is teased in this. We're just going to talk about Barry and, and we're going to briefly go over what is happening in the scene where they were filming the other day. And so I believe this is for season 7, episode 10. And obviously this contains spoilers for the episode. So the Flash was on location for the season 7 shooting on Wednesday in a place that they had seen two months earlier. And so this time, however, they were filming outside of the building as opposed to inside the building. The episode is being directed by Philip Chipera. I don't know if I said his name right or wrong, but he's directed The Flash four times, including the season finale last season. So he's returning and on this day they were shooting scenes in front of the building and this time it was made to look like a place called La Salle building. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right as well. So Kenneth Graf says, why were they there? Who knows, but they shot a couple of different sets of scenes there. And the first scene that they shot with Grant and his stunt double was the stunt scene. And so Grant was there a couple of hours later and the scene had the flash seemingly unable to move forward, moving backwards. Then a villain who had the same attire as the one I saw two months earlier, but did not appear to be the same person in the outfit started walking towards the flash before stopping and whipping his hands together in that kind of mission accomplished way people do. With the daytime scene, I was able to get a much more clear and detailed photos of the mystery man. Obviously, we're going to get into that in another video, but it's interesting to point out that Barry starts walking backwards. So I don't know what's going on, but he's being controlled by this villain. And so you can see a bunch of cool set photos on the screen right now that are really good. And we talked about this just briefly on the stream when Canada Grouse posted it the other day. 
but this is really cool because you get like a full really good look at his suit and I believe this is like the best quality photos we've got this entire season from leaks so yeah I just wanted to point it out and include it at the end of this video because it's great and go check out the blog if you want to read more about the leaks before we actually go in and do a whole big deep dive and break down into this new season 7 villain who has returned to fight the flash so for now Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.